Welcome! This is a demonstration of the Snippy Chrome extension. Snippy is a Chrome extension that allows you to grab snippets or clips from web pages and save them for future use. How does it work? Let me show you. First, when you install the extension, you will notice a new icon in the toolbar. Once you click it, you will have access to a menu that shows you what's changed and what are the new features of Snippy and gives you a link to the user guide if you are not familiar with Snippy. Once you have seen this, you can dismiss this message and go to the main menu of Snippy that allows you to grab snippets from web pages. So let's suppose we want to gather information about Velociraptors from a number of websites. Let's go first on Wikipedia, for example, and start searching for Velociraptors. Once we found some interesting content, we can start grabbing part of it. So we click the toolbar icon and then we click click to snip, and you see we got a blue overlay that shows us which part of the page which part of the page we are currently focused on, and then we can start selecting parts of it and copy them for future use. And so let's suppose we are interested in this image as well, and maybe also this paragraph. Once we are done, we click the Done button and we can move forward. And as you can see, we got an icon here that shows us how, how many snippets we have collected so far. So let's gather some more information. Let's go to Images and let's click Velociraptor. And so we can now start snipping again, and we can, for example, grab some more images. There we go. And finally, let's go, I don't know, to Amazon. And you can go to any website you want, where you can want to clip contents from. Uh, let's search for books about Velociraptors. Velociraptors. There we go. And we can start clipping again. So let's suppose we want this book, and we are interested also in this book. Once you're done, we can click the link that says Show Current Snippets. You will now see a page that shows you all the information you've collected so far. You can add comments. And maybe discard contents you're not interested in. Once you are satisfied with your snippet, you can upload them online. Or we can also put a title. Velociraptors are cool. Once you are satisfied, you can upload, upload snippets online. We offer you two choices. Snippin, which is a repository of snippets where you can share them with other users. Or for example, Google Docs. Let's upload these contents to Google Docs. We click the button, we wait for the contents to be uploaded. And once the contents are uploaded, we can go and view them. Here it is. As you can see, this is a Google document with exactly the same contents we grabbed before. We can now modify the contents and use them as we prefer. So let's remove a link and let's say that this image needs to be centered. This is a natural, normal Google doc that you can edit in any way you want. So for example, we can highlight features and maybe even share the document as a web page. There it is. And if you go back to Google Docs, you will see you have, you have a new document which contains your uploads, your snippets. Let's delete it. As I said, if you want, you can also upload them elsewhere, such as Snippin. We now click Snippin, we log in on Snippin first, and once we are logged in, we can now go back and share our snippets. We are now uploading the snippets to Snippin, and again we can go over there and see what has been uploaded. As you see, so our snippets. We can now make them public and share them with other users. That's it, have fun playing with the Snippy Chrome extension.